Hey y'all, it's Redneck Biker. I think. Uh, literally on take about 15 of this. I'm just loving my Drift HD Ghost camera right now. Actually, that's a lie. But anyway, um, so the last vlog I did, which was maybe like a couple months ago, I did an unboxing of all my Christmas gifts from Moscow Moto. And so I'd got that stuff early because uh, I don't really do Christmas. So, or whatever people call it now. Um, and so I thought I would do just kind of like a tabletop overview of, of the, the, the Nomad tank bag. And I got some other stuff too, which if you watch the unboxing, you'll see all the things that I got. Um, I'm, I don't really know how to express how impressed I am with the stuff so far. Um, I wasn't really sure about the way that the tank bag attaches to the bike initially, but I couldn't be happier. Um, it's, it's really a brilliant system. Um, the first thing you get is a, a little collar that kind of goes around your um, stem or steering tube or you know whatever you want to call it um, and that's where the top part of your tank bag attaches to the bike and this is going to be bike specific but this is how you know it works for me so uh, what happens then is your bike then sits um, or your bag then sits on your tank and then your tank your bag attaches the top of the bag attaches to the top of this so don't mind my nuts here um, but so there's the top part of the tank bag and then that attaches to this clip clip and so I'll show you that here in just a second on the bike and then of course here's the bag um, and I'll show you this on the bike here in just a second um, I really like it I like all the pockets I like where everything's laid out is really thought out really well it's got a lot of good you know, just even like the little small pockets like this on the front of the bag that are just, it's, you know, you could put a pen in there. You can just, it's just brilliant. So, um, I've seen a couple different people get online and talk about their bag and what, how they use theirs. Um, and there's some side pockets here that goes to the, to a bigger pocket that's underneath. Um, you can, you know, access things from that side and it, it goes into this pocket here. So, one of the things, and I, I don't remember who it was, that, that talked about this pocket on the front of the bag. That's possibly a CCW um, place, carry a firearm. And so one of the things that, if you think about it, you're riding on your bike and you get into a situation where you need to get to your gun right then and there, how you have your zipper pool set up is going to be really important. Because if, if you're wanting to draw a firearm while you're riding your motorcycle, you want to do it with your non-throttle hand so you can keep riding, right? I mean, that, makes only, that only makes sense. So this little front pocket on the bag, you can only pull the zipper from the right side to the left side, which would mean you would use it from your, with your right hand, which is smart if that's where you keep your weapon. That's not where my preferred location is, but it would work as long as you have a relatively flat tank on your bike. If, you're, if your bike is too upright, this, this pocket's not going to work all that well. I mean, it's doable, but probably not for, for a concealed weapon type application. So, um, and so, like in this example, I've got the bag flat on a workbench, and it's really easy to get your, your hand in there and get your firearm out. In this case, it's a Glock 19. Um, and it fits in there well. Um, this pocket goes pretty deep. It'll go in almost, you know, good. Not quite to my elbow, but almost. Um, and it's got some Velcro in there. So if, you, if your holster was Velcro backed, um, it would stick in there with, with no problem. I keep the, um, I also keep the rain cover in there. So, because like I said, I'm not going to keep a firearm in there, but... Um, you could, you could if you wanted to. So, uh, and then I'm gonna put this on the bike here in just a second and then we'll kind of get into some of the pockets and, and how I have it set up. And um, 
we'll have a look at that here in just a second. So this is what it looks like on the bike. Uh, there's this kind of a side view. And here's one of the ways it attaches down here. And so what you do is this little clip here comes separate and then you just zip tie. It's got these little sleeves that the zip ties fit through. And then depending on your application for your bike, you just zip tie it the way you want to zip tie it. And that, initially, like when I saw this, I was like, okay, I, I don't like that at all. I want it. I wanted something, you know, like you, you know, I want a loop and I want to, you know, put it around the crash bar, which that would work too. If that's, you know, how you would want it, you want to do it. Um, but this works really well. I mean, it, it's, it's not going anywhere. These zip, you know, zip ties are not going to wear out for the most part. And so, you know, it's not like you're going to be using your, you know, bag as a, a place to tow from, you know, or pull your bike out of the mud or something like that. That's probably not going to work, but um, it's not coming off there. Um, I really like, like I said, I really like the way it attaches. It doesn't, um, I mean, it snaps in there really well. It's secure. Um, the only, my only complaint is, and I, you know, well, I don't even know if it's a complaint, but the only suggestion I had to Moscow was that on a lot of their gear, they put these little neat little bands that you can slide up and down so you can secure the tips of your, your fabric. Well, on the tank bag, it doesn't come with these on this. So I just um, took it from the collar because you don't really need them on the collar. So then this doesn't flap around here. And so I did that on both sides. Um, and then this, comes in this is actually comes really long so you don't have to worry about the length of it and you just custom cut it because these have little lines in them um, i think it actually kind of went way down to here and so i just cut it to the length that i liked and then i left it at that and then like the collar i don't you're not really going to be able to see that i don't think but um, it just attaches around the calling around your steering tube and then it secures to the top um, and so the good thing about it is, is that, you know, like if you're going to go get gas or whatever, you can then clip on both sides. And then I, what I do is I fold my bag up onto the top of the bars and the bag stays there while I'm getting gas. And so um, I went ahead and like, if you can see like on the KLR, how the bag sits, you know, I don't know how uh, viable it would be to, if, you know, if you're riding to get a weapon out of there, um, would it work? you got to really kind of stuff your hand in there and you can get your gun out. Um, so consequently, I don't, I don't know if that's, that's doable while you're riding. Uh, I may have to ride around and see, I've got a place where I can do that. And so I, ju I just don't see that as an option for me. May work for you. doesn't work for me. Or maybe, you know, you get like a little two shot Derringer or something you want to put in there. You could probably do that. Um, but one thing, the cool thing about this pocket is, like I said, that zipper only goes one way. And so if you are riding and you need to get to whatever's in this pocket while you're riding, you can do so because it's got the, um, from right to left zipper pull. And so you could get in there to get your, you know, your, um, tank bag cover out. So it's kind of, then the, the front has kind of got this beaver tail on it. And this is a uh, little um, like Molly stuff where you can attach stuff to the outside of your bag you want. You can get other little bags if you would need more storage than this thing has. I don't know how you would because this, this thing's got room. And so in my little pocket here, I've got um, just some gloves. I've got some hot hands, um, some, a pen. Sharpie. I've got some of my camera equipment stuff in there. Um, that's pretty much it. And then, um, and this part actually velcros down to, to here. And so you can keep it like you could, you, uh, you can get it probably a small jacket in there. Like some of my running stuff, I could probably get in there. So, um, and then this pocket, like I don't have my backpack because I'm not really going anywhere, but this is like my AV part, you know, and it's, I've got a little small screwdriver and an extra back to my camera, some extra batteries and some cabling. Um, got some Loctite up here. 
um, extra plastic baggies in case I need to sell some weed or something real quick, you know, whatever. Um, then this part, um, I just have some of my paperwork and extra bag and it's got pockets like everywhere and these are zipper and then this, um, you know, this reminds me of an old school camera bag where you could put like rolls of film in there that not that anyone uses film anymore, but you could literally, if you had a small drone, you could probably get it in here. So, um, and that would work too. And so then there's a, um, the very top of the bag. There's another pocket and I keep my shady rays in there. So, uh, and it's, yeah, that pocket's lined too. Um, you know, it, it comes with a cover that you can put on it, you know, in case it rains really, I, I guess if you were in like some sort of torrential downpour, you'd want that, but I've never even taken it out or put it on. And so, but that's it. I mean, that's, it's pretty simple. Um, it's got clips everywhere. I mean, you know, you can clip anything you want to it. Um, this bag was, I think, my one of the things that attracted me to Moscow Moto is I'd, I'd seen this bag somewhere before, the earlier version of it. And, um, thought, man, I need to have that bag, and sure enough, you know, I'm kind of lucky and I can afford it now. But I think the bag retails for. 229 or something like that don't quote i mean don't go and say hey redneck biker said it was only 229 if it's more than that i don't i don't remember but it seems like it was 229 um it is worth 229 um like i said it's it's man i couldn't be happier with it oh it also comes with a uh, a uh a water bladder or whatever you want to put in it which it actually would fit in this pocket as well I believe that's where it goes. Um, and then it's got a clip for it here on the side so you can, you know, get your, then another clip here on the front. So um, I'm, overall, I'm really impressed with the bag. Um, you know, I can't imagine needing more room than this bag has. Um, and if you're going on a trip, you're gonna pack it full anyway. So, but like I said, I really like it. Um, it's it's pretty to, easy to use one-handed when you're riding. Um, no complaints with that. Um, it's you know the zippers work well. I always have my zippers so I pull from the right side to the left side because I'm always trying to get in there from the um, with my non-throttle hand. Um, so that's how I like mine set up. Obviously, you can do yours how you want yours. Um, but like I said, it's you can't go wrong with that. So consequently, if anyone's in the market for a um, lightly, gently used Wolfman tank bag, let me know. Uh, I think I'd probably let it go for about 100 bucks-ish. Holler at me if you want a tank man, or pardon me, a Wolfman tank bag. So. But that's it. Like I said, it's um, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know where that camera was pointing, but um, that's it. And a uh, big thanks to Moscow Moto. It's uh, a brilliant bag, well designed. Really, no complaints with it at all. So, so go give uh, Moscow Moto uh, a look. And they have another. They have, I guess, they have two or three bags now. So, go check them out. And. Uh, be safe.